Oh, little fella. It's not a huge hole there. We don't have a ton of room to work with, but. I know, you're not happy. I know. I'm gonna help you. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, you were thinking about it. I saw you creeping that way. All right, pal, good luck. I now declare you wild and free. Apparatus. Honey, people stand up on it. Honey, not the man just need to be asked. Yeah, need be asked. In 1997, black footed ferrets were first restored here to Fort Belknap Indian Reservation. It was the first black footed ferret reintroduction on tribal lands. Oh, neat. Oh. And today is a good day. We have a good day. You know, this sun shining. We've been blessed. And we should all be proud be proud from Fort Bella Preservation to have black footed ferret back. Well, look, I, don't know. <laughs> I heard Nike's on. <laughs> black footed ferrets once numbered in the hundreds of thousands across North America. They require large prairie dog colonies to survive. They live in prairie dog burrows and they eat only prairie dogs. Last 200 years, People have poisoned the vast majority of prey dog colonies across the Great Plains and Intermountain West. They've been restored to the wild in numerous locations, but because of the disease plague, which wipes out both prey dogs and black-footed ferrets, we have a long way to go. Look there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be part of this, bringing a native species back to its native habitat, I have a hard time with people even arguing about that. You know, how can you argue about something like that? It's, you know, it's something that's, that should, it's, it's right, it should be. The little ferret, that little prairie dog, is just as important as the buffalo in our way of thinking. Chairman and most of the council are tied up in a state tribal relations committee meeting. We don't want to keep them in here any longer than we have, have to, so we can just head on out. Okay. Uh, now today in 2013 is the second attempt to reestablish black-footed ferrets here at Fort Belknap. So the first burrow is the lollipop up here. So we can bring the one female, we'll get... Um, Come in and grab one, get one ready for me. Yeah, him. let's do that. We're hoping that this is a lot more successful than it was 16 years ago. I want you to carry it, okay? <laughs> we um, want to continue to be a part of the uh, reintroduction efforts. We're proud to be a part of the reintroduction effort to uh, help them out and get them on the ground. Just makes you wonder if these guys can hear the prairie dogs and go, hey! <laughs> Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really nice opportunity and honor to be here today celebrating the return of the masked bandit to Snake Butte Buffalo Pasture here on the Fort Belknap Reservation. It's an amazing comeback story, really. I mean, if you're down to 18 animals, that's about as close to extinction as you can get. We hope, really hope it'll work this time. Let's go get some birds. Go, you bet I can. <laughs> <laughs>
The next one's just right over here. <laughs> Today we're going to restore black-footed ferrets here, and we hope that that will contribute to the population goal of 3,000 that's needed to save the black-footed ferret from extinction. The reason we think it has a better chance now is because today we have plague vaccine right on the horizon to help prairie dogs and ferrets survive. This is a species that we have a responsibility to restore to this earth, and we have to take every measure we can to do so. So honored. It's excellent to work with It'd be great. Cities, so. We are grateful to the tribes at Fort Belknap for being a part of this solution and saving this animal from extinction. Anybody who wants to join me? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Great. With everybody working together, we will succeed, and this animal will be recovered someday. Good luck out there, my friend. Yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 